Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Happy New Year, happy 2023, we made it. Um, I hope you had a great, healthy holidays with your family. For those of you that are new to this channel, on this channel, I discuss beauty, skincare, and lifestyle. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another video. Starting off the New Year's, there are a few goals that I would like to plan for and accomplish. So in this video, we're going to be talking about planning 2023 and changing my relationship with time and money. So let's get into the video. I'm going to tell you guys about four goals that I have. And then of course I have more goals, but I want to keep those other goals private. So we'll just discuss these four goals and how I plan to ex execute them in 2023. And sorry, I'm going to be looking down because I have my notepad and uh, my notes on here. I just want to stay on track for you guys and not be all over the place. So my number one goal is to save. And I say this all the time, but like, I feel like this time is really different like and when I mean save it's gonna be like aggressively saving because y'all know your girl got a wedding to plan and I have a few things that I would like to do so in order for me to accomplish those things I need to save and um s saying the word save and you know and not having like an action plan doesn't really help you save so I feel like when you have a goal, you need to have, first of all, you want to make sure it's a smart goal and you want to make sure the goal is attainable. Saving is something that is attainable. That can be done. Anybody can do that. Um, you know, of course, you want to make sure the goals are reasonable. So my number one goal is to save. I have to save for a wedding and I have to save for other things that I need to get done. So a lot of my method of saving comes from Susie Orman. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Susie Orman, Susie Orman is a financial specialist. She's a financial guru. I look up to her. She is my financial goals. Um, so she has this article called Mon Money Mondays on LinkedIn and I sign up for the alert. So I get the alerts every Monday and I read her three to five tips that she gives out and I try to follow those rules. She also gives out helpful information on getting rid of debt, student loan debt, credit card debt, and saving for your future. Saving for your future, meaning retirement, emergency funds. So a lot of great tips. If you don't know who she is, you need to look her up, read her tips. She also has a podcast. Like I, she is goals. I look up to her. She is my financial goals when it comes to saving and being smart with money. That is who I follow. One tip that she mentioned um, in one of her article was focusing on one thing at a time. Okay. I'm going to give a little example. So one of my goals is to save for my wedding and save it for this. I'm going to focus on one thing at a time while saving during this process, meaning um, saving for the venue, getting that out the way, saving for, you know, photography whatsoever. So something small like that um, and focusing on one thing at a time. I know sometimes like we want to multitask and it's just hard to do one thing at a time. But I feel like focusing on one thing at a time and completing it and seeing it through will allow for you to attain and accomplish your goal. Another goal of mine is productivity slash consistency. And I put those two in hand because I am looking to be more consistent. I know I've talked about this in the past, in my past videos, but consistency is something that I struggle with and not with just YouTube, but like, I feel like in a lot of other areas of my life, I struggle with consistency minus maybe one or two, 
two or three things. Like the one thing that I'm pretty consistent about is my meal prepping. And I think because once you do something for such a long time, it becomes a habit. So creating that routine and sticking to your routine and doing it every day, all the time. Once you do it for about two to three weeks, it becomes a habit. And that's how I am with meal prep. I meal prep every week. The week that I don't meal prep, I feel terrible. Like I feel sick. I have to meal prep to have lunch for work. So I feel like if I can be consistent with meal prepping, I can be consistent with YouTube. And that is like my ultimate goal. Like I need to stick to a schedule, um, which is something new that I'm trying out, writing down a schedule, writing down time out of my day, what, whether if it, whether it's one hour or two hours a day to focus on um, my pr productivity with my videos, that is my goal. I am sticking to it. I want you all to hold me accountable. Call me out in the comments, please. Call me out. I'll be okay. Call me out. Okay. I think I need uh, an accountability buddy. Um, I do have one though. My good friend Tupo is always like, girl, you need to keep going. Do your thing. You're doing great. Sis, I appreciate you. She always gives me so much gems and encourage me, motivate me. Um, another one of my friend who is going to be on YouTube soon. I'm not going to call her out yet. She knows who she is. She always pushed me through to be consistent on Instagram, consistent on TikTok. She always like, I feel like bring back that flame for me to like have my creative juices flowing and come up with more shorts and reels video. So she knows who she is. Thank you, sis. You always looking out for me. Um, so yeah, consistency, we need to crush it this 2023 and productivity. Um, I say productivity because when reflecting back on 2022, I realized that I spent a lot of time doing things that really didn't make me feel like I was productive. You know, I feel like, um, there are a few times I had so much time and like literally I would just lay on a couch and watch TV all day. Like we're not doing that. And I have done that also like after work, after work, when I get home and I have dinner, I'm like so tired. I would be on the couch for like three hours strolling on social media. We're not doing that anymore. I need to be more uh, pro productive with my time. Um, and also other things that I plan on cutting out is like little hangouts here, going to brunch here, because that also ties into goal number one, saving, you know, and also cutting out little shoppings. Like I am trying so hard to not buy any skincare products unless there's a need, because sometimes they can be a need. Um, and Earlier, I mentioned Susie Orman. One thing that she, one tip that I live by, I live by it, and all my friends know this. If you know me, you know I live by this tip. When I go into the store, for example, when I go to TJ Maxx and I see something that I really like, I see something that I really like and I pick it up, like I will walk around the store maybe about 15, 20 minutes or however long I'm in there, if I'm in there longer than that. And literally I would replay in my head over and over, is this a need or is this a want? That is one thing that I took from Susie Orman and I use it all the time. So I weigh out my options. Is this a need or is this a want? And usually it ends up being a want, you know, a want is not a need. You can always get it later, but you don't need to do a uh, impulsive buy. You have to determine what is a need for you versus what is a want. I feel like a need is your, like your basic necessities plus other things, but some things are just want. Like even with grocery shopping, I used to be so good at making a list and sticking to it. So I'm going back to that because that also ties into goal number one, being able to save money, save. You know, so we're not going to the store and buying chips that we don't need. That's not good for you anyways and end up 
leaving it in the cabinet for weeks later and end up throwing it out. Goal number three is investing into myself and into my brand. I say this because there's a lot of potential to execute what I really want to do on this platform. And one thing that I really need to do is invest into a really good MacBook. I've been holding off on this for a while, but this is something I just need to go ahead and buy. So that way I have more features and options to edit my videos and um, I can be able to generate more videos for you guys and tie that into my consistency goal. The last goal that I'm going to share with you guys, um, which is probably similar to all of the goals that I listed, is planning things out, meaning getting a pen and paper and writing things down. Okay, I noticed that this tend to work for me. Last year, I did do a vision board. This one was a digital vision board. And I would say some of the things on my vision board did happen, like this being number one of them. It did happen. Um, now I'm not saying go ahead and put something on your vision board or, um, in your planner that is not really realistic. That ties back into setting a realistic goal. I did make a vision board for 2023. I'll share my vision board for 20. Um, I'll share my vision board for last year and I'll share my vision board for 2023, um, towards the end of this year because some things I want to keep private until it actually happened. So um, I my plan, my goal is to plan, write things down. Um, every year I buy a planner and I used to be so good with writing things down. Like I said, whether it's making a grocery list, whether it's if I'm going to buy essentials for the house, making a list and sticking to that list. Um, whether it's an outing, planning it out, like that works for me so well and it gets me to accomplish things and get things done. So I have my little planner in here and I also plan out my bills, um, writing it down when it's due, paying more than just the minimum. That is going to help a lot. So I have my little 2023 planner here that I got from Five and Below. It has stickers and stuff in there. So far in this um, book, I just have the dates that I have off from work because that is very important to me, taking time off to reset, rejuvenate, and get yourself back together. Taking your PTO is very important. Yeah, so, so far I only have my PTO written down because that's the first thing I think about before at the start of the year. The other thing that I have written down my planner is the travel dates. So I think for, for 2023, I have two trips planned out, paid for already. Um, one this month in January, and I'm probably gonna, I'm definitely gonna do a vlog for that trip. And another trip is in November, which is with uh, friends. It's kind of like a couple's trip um with my fiance's friends so that should be fun that I already have that in my planner and I need to organize some things and you know have everything set for those trips so so far I only have two trips for 2023 I don't think I'm adding another one and these trips were already decided and paid for in 2022 before the new year came so budgeting is going to be something that I hold on to very close. So those are the only two things that I have right now. I am going to carve out time to spend on creating my videos and investing into myself, like I said, so and being more productive. So yeah, that is all that I have in my planner. Those are my four goals that I wanted to share with you guys. I have more goals stored in here, um, but I wanna keep those goals private. And I hope this video encouraged you to grab a planner, sit down and plan 
realistic goals, smart goals, things that you want to accomplish and just know that you can do it because if I can do it, you can do it too. And sometimes we just need a little motivation, whether it's from whether that motivation comes from friends or feeling down. I know a lot of times I get on this high and like I'm energized and want to get things done. And then a few weeks, a few days later, I'm down here and I don't feel like doing anything. And that leads me to being on the couch and watching TV and just in this cycle of being unproductive. But we are not having this this year. I'm going to get me an accountability buddy you should do the same to hold you accountable to achieve the goals that you want to achieve for 2023 because it is possible if you believe it and work hard towards it, you can get it done. That is it for this video. Thank you for staying to the end. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.